typically, there we go. Hello friends, hello and welcome. We are back and it's Friday. So what do you think of that? It's fabulous fun Friday. Fabulous fun. And if you were in our text group, you will have seen, oh, I am really low down in my chair. Like, this is a really low chair. I think I need my stool. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, what has happened to me? <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's about six inches shorter than my <laughs> There stool. she is. Mommy needs a booster seat in this yes. chair. <laughs> How are you guys? Excuse the noise just for a sec. I'll push that out of place because sure enough, I'm going to need something out of these drawers. Um, well, hello. And we are back. And I am Lynn from Ellen J. Goods. Ellen J. Goods is a brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York. Let me adjust my camera to get it a little straighter because that will drive me bananas. And... We are also online, ellenjgoods.com. You're going to find us between Buffalo and Rochester in Western New York. And yeah, yeah. Let, us, let us know if you want to come for a visit. <laughs> you don't even have to let us know. Just show up. Just show up. We'd love to see you. Oh, so I'm back from uh, a whirlwind of a week. Yes. <laughs> I think we used that terminology last week. Um, and I'm excited. Yeah, last that was a true whirlwind. It was a whirlwind. Megan is caught up to what day? Today. Today with her orders. I mean, let's give this girl a round of applause. I don't even have my sound effects out or I'd give myself one. She does. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, you know, I have a few projects piled up that I wanted to share for lives. And then, of course, last night I'm like, oh, do I want to do it or don't I? And then um, I sent a, a message to the text group and said, what do you want me to do today live, fall or Christmas? And I get it, I'm gonna be honest with you, overwhelmingly, it was fall. I think that's great. It's, so, it's like a beautiful fall. And here. it is it is the fall equinox. Tomorrow. Is, tomorrow. Let me tomorrow. So I mean, let's give this fall Thing, Let's give one, it a chance. One more hurrah, yeah, right? Since it's just beginning. Since it's just <laughs> beginning. <laughs> and you know we're going to be we're going to be planning our Easter projects Hi. next. So, anyway, um yeah, it was a great trip. We I went to Louisiana and we actually surprised my oldest brother for his birthday. And that was a lot of fun. Um uh, we managed to finagle like my mom and my sister surprise. as a bonus surprise and my other brother and sister-in-law. We were all there and he didn't have a clue and we have been keeping the secret for I think three months. Mm -hmm. Something like that. And so even though we have announced it almost at twice to three times a week <laughs> live on our videos, <laughs> it somehow remained a secret. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> anyway, for all I know, he's part of our text group. And, you yeah. know, who knows? So True. anyway, um, so it was really fun. And so we got to celebrate his birthday and we did some crafting together because all of us girls are, I mean, in my family, we love making stuff. So I took some projects down and we did some decoupage and we made some really cute little um air dry clay or not air dry clay but uh little pumpkins like they're this. so cute oh, all the way in. oh my gosh they're Welcomes. adorable look at these cindy's first time on a live welcome, welcome hi cindy welcome so we did these and i am putting together a reel to show how to do these but uh super cute super cute we i mean we had a third grader all the way up to my mom who um is a senior citizen i love that yeah it was great we we really enjoyed our time together so anyway but we're back and i'm excited to spend some time with you guys here today megan's here with us and Hello. she's going to talk about the collection list 
Yes, I've posted a collection with the same title that you see here in the date. It's in the comments. I'm sorry, in the I'm so you I've said it for years in the comments, so I have to change it. In the description on Facebook and YouTube, there's a link to that collection, and you'll find all of the products that Mom is using here today to make it easy for you to find. That's all I have to say about that. That's all she's got to say. Yeah. So we're streaming both to YouTube and to Facebook. Yep. Whatever and our platform website. and our website. So whatever platform works for you works for us. It's great. We've got all of our switcher Most stuff. Most of the time it works. Work Most of the time. Us. It didn't last week, no. but we, we did have a last minute like Hail Mary and it and we're able to pull it off. Yes. So um anyway. And his name was Jonathan. And his name was Jonathan, yes. Hail Jonathan. Yes. <laughs> Full of skills yes <laughs> right and so um, anyway so I I did I pulled out my little pile of projects which included some decoupage with uh, recycled papers I'm sorry you guys I just can't get enough of it are we ever gonna get tired of decoupage um, not no, not when we no not when we can do so many cool things with it so um, I, you know, I've had the Lexi Grenzer like stacked pumpkins and heirloom pumpkins out. Last year I did a really awesome big um, porch sitter. Remember that? I did mm -hmm. it on black and then many, I used... Many, many people ask about that. It's, it's a reel on her Instagram. Yeah. You just got to go back to last fall to find it. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I did not share like a full tutorial. Well, I thought I did it live, didn't I? Um, I think I did we it live. We have been hunting for that. But we've been Listen, hunting, yeah. When you know better, you do better. And we are trying to be much more organized with yeah. the when mom posts things so that I can easily direct you to where they are. Like titles. And, and YouTube things. makes it a lot easier. It to does. Do that, so, actually. but anyway. Um, I, I can't do that big tall porch sitter right now because the pumpkins were from last year and they were they were big they were really big ones so they really did work for a project like I did and then the background I added uh, whispering willow transfers to it and we're going to use a little bit of whispering willow today and I used um, some uh, IOD uh, chalk white um, erasable ink you're talking about the one you did before last year yeah and i just used some different i think i used fruitful harvest like the leaves from that and and added those as some really fun textural background detail so and popped a little bird on top it was so cute it really was cute somebody bought that piece and uh, then we ran then we didn't get those papers anymore so michelle said i can't believe there was a celebrity in lafayette michelle Deborah said michelle i almost called the television station <laughs> Shirley, we wish you were here too. Oh, that's so funny. Well, um, so I grabbed those papers, and again, you'll find them in the collection list. I'm going to show you what we're working with today. Um, of course, I, I went down into my stash of vintage frames because it's not a gallery for me unless there's vintage frames involved. So let's look at... Um, this other angle here and Deborah we're both originally from right here in Medina mom yes. and I were both born here my brother transplanted back in the 70s yeah and has a full-blown accent has a full-blown full yeah yeah accent and the whole deal so he works for an oil company and um, has been there ever since so Anyway, um, so we're going to work with, uh, I mentioned Whispering Willow, and there's a few other little surprises in here that Megan has in the list. But I'm also going to use the Roy Cycled Stenciled Urn today because I I did a YouTube video with the stacked pumpkins, but I thought, you know, let's, let's use this and put a couple of other, like a couple of Lexi's pumpkins on here. And then if you can see it, Sorry. this, yeah, everyone is saying, yes, it was alive. It was alive. I remember you making it live. You did I live. remember too. I do remember that. That crow in the background is available. Oh, yes, it's, it's not a set of website. two. Yes, oh, they it are. Comes as a set yep, of two. It comes as a set of two. I'll get They're you a link to that. Super cool. And let me just ask you one more question before sure. we move on. Um, Stephanie said she sent you pictures of a dresser that she's working on. I'm wondering if you got them. She's probably still catching up on her texts from her trip. I, I really am. We'll yeah. look for those for yeah. sure. 
So I then thought, you know, we have got, when I think of fall too, I think of like fabric and textures and those warm, earthy kind of antique textures that we love. And so I just uh, searched through my, my stock here and this is neutral ticking. We're gonna use that. We're gonna use this, what is this one called? Burlap um, profile. Faded burlap profile. Faded burlap pro profile and landscape. Mm -hmm. And I love this. I haven't had a chance to use this yet, so I'm very excited today to use that. And then I pulled out, of course, our fall tartan. So um, I think what I want to do first is I will demo uh, how quickly how to how I decoupage. You guys probably are experts at this. Then we'll move on to this urn stencil and do some cool texture with this. This was featured in a YouTube video, but I figured, you know, it's not gonna hurt to go through it again. And then we'll work with those pumpkins. How does that sound? All right. I think it sounds great, Mom. Great. So um, I am not gonna show you the frames until I'm actually done, all right? So let's, um, let's do these two right here. I don't know, does that blue really, I think it's all gonna go together. We'll make it all work together. And I'm just going to actually, well, you know me, I'm gonna make this really easy on myself here. Hi, Linda. Not gonna measure, I'm not gonna cut. I don't think. I'm just gonna uh, run a little bit of sandpaper so I can cut this to the size of my masonite board. You know that when I get antique frames, we remove all everything that's in them. And then JR cuts masonite so that I can then put any type of artwork on them. And what I um, have done is I've just done a very quick slip slap base coat of a white paint on there. And we're gonna do, that. typically I will use fusion um, so that as I'm applying my decoupage medium in a bit, I'm not going to reactivate that my Debbie's DIY. Okay, a little bump, a little bump. There we go. <laughs> Just a little one. Just a little bit, yeah. Hold up, guys. I am just trying to get all my angles here and it, this just keeps on switching around on me. Hold up. Oh my gosh. You guys, I apologize. I'm sorry, there we go. Okay, yes. there we go. Anybody get seasick? I haven't gotten to that part yet. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm really, I'm Ooh. what? A minute and I oh, it took a <laughs> rumbling and tumbling around. I was so, yeah. Um, of course, we got to eat every kind of like Cajun, uh, everything gumbo and every kind of fried shrimp, fish. Uh, oh, yeah, all, all the stuff we had. I had gumbo, etouffee. Um, oh, I think. Honest to goodness, my favorite part was going to Cafe Du Mont and in New Orleans. Lana insisted we stop there so that we could uh, have a beignet and coffee before I went back to the airport. Beautiful. All right, so I have my two pieces ready to go. And today's decoupage medium du jour is our Funkature Rock Hard Top Coat. And here is what I'm gonna do. Which we are just freshly restocked. We have just freshly restocked. JR is pouring and is pouring. He good. Well, he will be, yeah. Robin just got her box. She's very excited. Oh, for Robin! We should, do we have one up here to show maybe before the end of this? I do. Because and that class is Did coming JR up very bring soon. the panels? He was cutting the panels if he today. Did, I don't know. They might be downstairs. Me. So I put a little bit of um, my medium down. Then I spritz the back of my paper with my Mr. Mister. I love my Mr. Mister because it really releases such a beautiful 
um, just right amount of mist. And as I always say, it's also great for hair. Yes, you use it on your boys and hair and my for own hair. Like two years, I'm right? Wearing my hair um, like wavy or curly, it's great to like refresh and scrunch. And then I will just work this down. Of course, like I said, you guys, if you are on the social media creative bandwagon here, you all have seen this done. And then while this is wet, I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat of my medium right over top of it. Um, Funkature uh, Rock Hard is indoor outdoor. It is a water-based marine grade varnish and I really love it. In fact, I have a table that I'm gonna be doing before fall hits us. I, I really wanna like upgrade that, that patio table or deck table. Okay, so we'll do it once again. I'm only going part way. This is a small piece, so I'm actually applying my medium maybe about halfway down and spritz the back of it, mist the back of it, I should say. And then we're going to get this applied. I take a little bunch up, bunched up bit of saran wrap and press that into place. Now, if I'm working on a larger piece, typically I'll just work it in sections of like thirds or fourths. And so, as my friend Melanie taught me, um, we are actually creating three wet layers which all dry at the same rate. So as the paper dries and shrinks, it's not going to have like bubbles and wrinkles and shrink up and create those wrinkles as it dries. It really does create a relatively flat and lovely finish. Where do you get Masonites? We have someone here who went to a Lowe's and they don't sell they it. They don't sell it there. Uh, try, um, I don't know if you guys have like an 84 Lumber or someplace like that, possibly. Um, that, that could be. So I'm going to set these aside to dry and then we'll come back to them. Lisa asks, what does misting the back help with? What that was a trick we learned from Melanie, right? It was, yes. And, and as I kind of just explained a little bit, what the misting does is it, it gives us, um, so we're applying the wet medium on our substrate, then we're misting the back so the paper is damp, and then after it's applied, we're adding another wet coat over the top. So all three of those layers that we put down, decoupage medium, paper, decoupage medium, makes a, a sandwich, a decoupage sandwich, which all dries at the same rate. That's gonna prevent that paper as it dries from bunching up and shrinking back up and making ridges which is very often what we see happen. So I think that it just, all three of them drying together in that decoupage sandwich gives us the best result. Lynn bought those crows. Oh my gosh, they're fantastic. I don't know how many sets of those we have. Only, I think we have maybe three sets, that's they're it. so cute. They're adorable. Yes, we do have stink bugs in New York, Sandy. Oh, we sure do. We don't have love bugs though. No, I saw plenty of those. So after my paper is completely dried, um, it truly is relatively wrinkle free. There's a little seam right there because of something else I had under here and painted over. But I, I do have a few wrinkles here. Most of the time that occurs for, to me, with me, because I'm rushing, I'm just hurrying. So after it all dries, you just take a sandpaper and sand that edge nice and smooth. Love I know that. that this is your favorite yes. part, isn't it? Holly, yes, we do still do Basement Chronicles. We aim for every other week to preserve some of Mom's creative energy, um, especially now that we're doing a private 
Facebook group trying to do them once a month, but um, she has to feel inspired in that well, way. And the other thing is too, Amy is um, Holly. Holly, sorry, I thought I thought you said Amy. All right, fine. Oh my God, it's gonna embarrass me again. Okay, let's uh, let's we're get gonna say about now. Basement Chronicles, Mom. I was going to say that we um, we're without Shirley. And Shirley has been a vital part of helping to prep for that as well. And honestly, um, we just can do what we can do. And, and even so, without Shirley, there's only so much furniture we can do. Exactly. But I miss it. Like, I'm working on a furniture project right now for something very, very special and top secret. And I cannot wait. I can't wait to share. Okay. So this is just a little bit of my, this is ash, I think. And I am going to do a very quick stencil um, right now. And let me see. I'm just going to do a quick stencil. Very light. It does not have to be... Um, you know a perfect impression uh, but it also part of this is to um, create a little bit of shadowing which I did not mention in the YouTube video shame on me hey, could you give me a couple of paper towels yes hold on so I'm going to send me a message um, yeah too wet way too wet I want to offload and get my brush very, very dry. So while this is moving my paint around, it's not removing any of my paint. So that's where a paper towel comes in handy. Okay. And I just want to make sure I hold this stencil down with one hand so it doesn't shift. Shirley's there in spirit. Well, your spirit can't prep a piece of furniture, Shirley. That's right, Cheryl. Where do you get those lids on your paint jar? Well, she drills a little hole in them. <laughs> There's a great video tutorial of that in Basement Chronicles that if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend. Um, she makes it look so easy. <laughs> um, then she put... She puts a little cork in it, but if you don't have a jar of tiny or a drawer full, filled, labeled and filled with tiny corks like JR does, you can also <laughs> you just know, put right? painters tape over it. Oh. Hey, Patty Levine. Hi, Patty. Patty was one that voted fall. No, we do do basement chronicles. Um, just we haven't been doing it as frequently. We are aiming for every other week, but it's have just slowed been down a little significantly. Miss um, Shirley's not here to prep furniture. Um, and do so many other yes. incredible things that, that surely does. That's what it is as pertains to like Basement Chronicles. Also, I hate Basement Chronicles. Megan hates it, and other people <laughs> have said, "Oh, I love Basement." No, Chronicles everyone loves so it. Much. Everyone loves it, so I do my job and I participate. There we go. I mean, that is beautiful on its own. It really is. But we're gonna uh, take it up a notch, okay? Of course. And that will be with our anthracite stone effect paste. This is Pentart. Um, I cannot find, for the life of me, I cannot find my stinking, stinking jar that I have open. And I cleaned up after myself. But this is a thick paste. Okay, see, it's a very thick paste. It is water soluble. Looks like a little Santa Claus hat that you made with that, your stencil. Awesome. Oh, it does. <laughs> You're right. It sure does. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this because otherwise I'm going to end up with... Yeah, that's a really good stencil, Joey. A very big old mess. Very useful. Okay. So let me get myself prepared here. And I'm going to line this up again. So I want to line it up and... 
Shirley, everybody's like, where did Shirley go? She was very nice. Is she coming back? Yes, she's coming back. She's just had some surgery on her foot and she's on the mend, but she cannot really walk. So she can't come to work. We're to help us. Okay, so next step is I'm lining this up exactly where I had placed my charcoal that ash stencil then what I'm going to do I'm going to give it a very slight shift to the right what size is the board mom I have all sizes here um the one you're working on now well okay um I'll have to get a ruler I can get you one and can you use fusion paint to stencil on a tea towel absolutely you can I use fusion on fabric all the time. Okay, so when I apply a paste, a thick paste like this, I want to be sure, let me get this down a little lower. I want to be sure that I'm not working against any of like these little parts right here. See this? I wouldn't want to press my medium this way because it's going to lift these so i do want to be conscious of that as i'm applying this paste i just have my turquoise iris palette knife and see how these lift up i want to come from the top down and it doesn't matter if it's real smooth it's okay because we want that texture Yeah, the crazy thing about Miss Shirley is that she also did have a knee surgery <laughs> this year. In oh, addition poor to Miss Shirley, surgery, I know. She has just been through the ringer. Yes, she has. So I would say your your base coat of stencil paint should be a little darker than the anthracite paste. So choose black or cast iron. Cast iron would be another good one. Rebecca, um, I stopped there this morning and she painted, tested out painting one of her chairs with cast iron and it looks beautiful. <gasps> cast iron is beautiful. Yeah. Okay, and we're almost done. Grandpa said, I've never used fusion paint. What do you like most about it? What a lovely question. Thank you, Grandpa. Um, I, well, I love a few things about it. And again, it's not to say uh, Debbie's DIY is better or worse than. No. Not at all. I love both of those paints. In fact, what did I say today? We wouldn't carry them if they were if there wasn't a reason for both. So what do you love about Fusion? I love about different? Fusion is that it has a built-in top coat and a built-in primer. Um, it has a matte finish. It has a 30% industrial acrylic resin, Grambo. So it makes it ideal for um, kitchen cabinets and furniture where you will have a very, very durable hard finish once it's completely cured. Without an additional um, sealer, yeah. which is wonderful. I, I don't use Fusion so much for blending. Um, that's when I get into like my Debbie's DIY. But didn't I just say this morning, like, oh my gosh, every time I use Debbie's yeah. DIY, I fall in love with it all over again. But for totally different reasons. Exactly. Fusion's also great for indoor outdoor use. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, so is Debbie's DIY. But just on its own. Yeah. But Fusion's. if you want something very easy to self -leveling. work with, it's self leveling. Um, but you, so you can't, you can't get that kind of texture either with fusion unless you put like a fresco uh, texturizing mm -hmm. powder with it. So I'm going to lift straight up, straight up. Look at Leah's shirt. Oh, how pretty, Leah. I painted it with I bleach. I love it. Okay. Leah has a shirt on. She used our Shattered Wings stencil on a black shirt. And then use bleach and it looks so that it looks like kind of orange. It it's looks beautiful. Really cool. Your whole outfit is so cute today. I just gotta get that into some water. Uh, Laura asks, 
Yes, cast iron is a fusion color. It's one of the new colors, and it's beautiful. It's like a warmer mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. um, Laura asks, so did you shift that stencil over just a tiny bit before the anthracite paste? Yes, that is exactly what I did. I explained that I like to do that um, so that I have that little bit of a shadow. And sometimes it doesn't become evident right away, but it will. Okay, it will. Leah, they want to see your shirt. How do you feel about that? I don't care. Do you mind if she comes no, over? No, come on over. Hi, Chancy Chance. Karen's having a terrible time with bleach, so you're going to have to tell them how you did it. Well, I maybe... painted this one. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. this is paint, right? I No, it's oh, bleach. Oh, that's bleach. But okay. I painted it. That's really cute. And then This um, is our Shattered Wings stencil. Yes. And then you have to have a spray bottle of water, and as soon as it gets as dark as you want it, you spray it with water and stop the bleed. That, that is oh, fantastic. That you might have to come on as a special guest to but show I us just, how to do that. I just that, thought yeah. it was like, oh, that's fun. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. And your, your little cardigan, it's like has butterfly wings itself. It's yeah. so, it looks it's so, so pretty. pretty together. Thank you. Aww. I Leah, love it. Thank, thank you for, for putting the fun in Fun Friday today. Yes. <laughs> there was lots of fun before I got here. Not that <laughs> much. Not that oh, much. Oh, not fun. as much. No, but I love that effect. It always love like it. it's crazy to me what bleach does. Oh, my first one was a disaster. On black, yeah, yeah, an absolute disaster. Was it? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's a nightshirt now. <laughs> yes. All right, so we're gonna um, we're going to put that urn aside to dry a bit. And we'll come back and add some other texture to it. But let's get our pumpkins out right now and see what we're going to do with them, okay? You have these? Of course mm -hmm. I have these. Yes, yes like, of yes, course. Yes, finally. <laughs> How many of you are collectors of crafting items, but not necessarily users of them? You <laughs> do, you I do use, use them, Leah. But I collect more than I use, I think. So I'm mm -hmm. going to take yeah. the stacked heirloom the stacked Love. pumpkins and you, for those of you that did see that live that i did last year it was uh they were bigger they were bigger and taller stacks everybody wants a tutorial on that bleach and we might have to do that oh i know wouldn't that be fun it would be a fun little live actually yeah i sprayed the first one and it didn't work out well this is why we need a tutorial <laughs> So exactly. that nobody else has to do that. <laughs> so you're saying you have to have several black shirts? Well, well now available. she's figured it out. I've done it with the kids, and I didn't have that issue, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted it, so that's what it was. Yeah. So, so I'll you, just buy another shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or so you guys, what I'm doing is I'm doing a wet cut so that I have a little bit of a, a raggedy edge here. Not raggedy, I won't say that, but it just makes this paper when I put it on my other background it's going to make it so that it blends in a little bit better and doesn't have that like cut edge a dramatic cut edge I always say I need to do these ahead of time and then I never do Melissa thinks you're adorable Leah she is I adorable. would always tend to agree, yes. Melissa Jacobson? Yes. My campmate? Yes. <clears throat> when should we do our next Camp EJJ? Yeah, we need to get that, get that on the books. What's good for everybody? Let us know your schedules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah, because heaven forbid, I don't want to miss one. No. Well, it'll always be around your traveling schedule. Leah. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to do it without you. <laughs> exactly. So you sprayed the bleach? Then, no, she no. on her first try, she sprayed, sprayed the bleach. You can. And that did not but work. It didn't work. Because I didn't stop it soon enough, and it bled Just and kept got gray and yeah. ugly. And yeah. So this one, I taped down the stencil on the shirt, and then I used a paintbrush and straight bleach. Oh. And just painted it. That's cool. Oh, that's a good idea. Because then I had more control over it. Wow. That's and then great. as soon as it got as orange as I wanted, I sprayed it with my Mr. Mister. 
Perfect. Isn't the Mr. Mister the best Mister ever? It is. One, uh, of, one of them I use for ironing, and the other one I use for crafting. Do <laughs> you <laughs> use one for ironing? Yeah. It's such a great mist. It really is. Ironing, yet another use. I use it for hair. Oh, we'll have another Camp EJ, Nina. Not to worry. We're just trying to figure out when. I hope we never stop having them. I know. Almost done, you guys. So you might wonder, like, what do you do with all these little extra bits here? You can also cut these out and layer them. Um, I'm going to make life a little bit easier for us and use some of Lexi's watercolor uh, flowers from Whispering Willow. And um, I think, Leah, I'm going to have you. Let me, let me take a look at this guy here. I think I would like you to cut these out. Can you do a water cut on those I for me? Water cut Thank on you. Those. Mom, what's our. But I would totally use these like in, in my journaling to create backgrounds that you are going to apply other mediums over. Am I giving this to you? Yep. You know what's funny, Mom? What? Well, Rebecca asked, when will we get to see the haunted house? And I was going to tell her, but I don't know what they need. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> well, we're having an L J Goods. I have to go back and look at our other video <laughs> to see what date we said. Is it after we go to Ohio? I, yes, it yes, is. Yes, because it's October 5th because I can't be That's here. That's right, the I'm 5th. I'm in the, So, the thank you. The sounds familiar. October 5th, we're doing our first annual... Ellen J. Goods Halloween Spooktacular Live Special. And that's when you will see the haunted house get decorated. And Leah won't be here, and it's a major bummer. But she's going to have a great time in Maine. Yes. Oh, that looks cool on there, Mom. Doesn't it? Well, I need it, and it actually just, you know how it kind of works out like, isn't it? You know? I wanted, um, I knew I had, like, kind of that blue tartan, and I wanted to make sure I had some elements yes. of blue from these pumpkins, uh, because I want this all to work together. And all right. Okay, let's get paintbrush. Now, I know that it might freak you guys out just a little bit that I am going to be placing this off center, all right? I'm going to do it, and it's gonna be okay. I like to imagine that I'm trying to capture a photograph of something, and that the best composition is not when is when it's not like centered exactly. So, while I did center my urn, I'm not going to center this one. And that's gonna just give me a little bit of variety in my gallery wall, too. All right, now, behind this is another, obviously, another decoupage paper, and it has a little bit of a darkness to it and some pattern through it. I think that I want to try to eliminate that kind of, um, that coming through so it means that I have to paint I need to paint a white or a light color behind these pumpkins and I can do that one of two ways I can either like chalk this out which I think that that's what I'm going to do or you can just paint the back of your decoupage paper also but we're going to chalk ours out let me grab a bit of chalk So I'll just quickly kind of go around the outside of this. It's not a gravestone. It's just a... Uh, oh, no. You'll see. I'm going to bring all the frames out when I'm done. Man, I really don't like chalk. I, I know you don't. I just wish I could get over it. Why don't you like chalk? I don't know. It, like... Honestly, it makes my hands sweat just watching her use it. It makes my like a lot of people have that wobbly. textural thing, but I'm not even touching it. I'm not even like it's just at risk of it touching me. Uh, apparently, since I taught school, chalk is not an no, issue. No, it's all me. good. For okay. You. okay, so I'm just gonna use a white paint, and I'm just gonna do a very quick. Hmm. 
slip slap slip slap over this and I'm not going all the way to that chalk edge see that why not because if I if my chalk sits outside of the pumpkin as I'm tracing it mm -hmm. the white paint will be yes, also that, outside that the pumpkin so with that halo Mostly, I'm just trying to knock back some of this background color so that it doesn't show through my, um, you know, <laughs> my next layer of decoupage. Yes. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm trying to know. say. <laughs> More of an opacity. Yes. Thank you. It's such a good word, man. It really opacity. is, and I was desperately trying to communicate it to my nail tech. Um, was unable to do that. <laughs> it's a word that I wanted my nails to be more opaque. We were having a bit of a language barrier. And I could not, for the life of me, think of another word or way to describe that I wanted them to be more opaque. <laughs> like, you don't want to see through that. Yeah, I don't want to see yeah, through the color. Yeah, mm -hmm. but she was not. She didn't understand. They're still beautiful, but you know what I mean? I wanted it yeah. to be more almost like milky. I tried that word too, and she looked she disgusted. <laughs> I did not have a trauma with chalk or a chalkboard. I can't. I do not know what my problem is. But it's luckily I don't come up against it too often. <laughs> right, I know. Sorry. I'm gonna wrap that in. and let's get this dried real quick. So we'll have this one ready to go. Sandy asks, can you stick decoupage paper down with paint? No. That's a hard no, Sandy. No. Not a moment. Not allowed. It was a quick no. Yeah. <laughs> N-O. Okay, and while this is drying... Poor Lee is trying to cut this paper away. The blow dryer is blowing. I think I want to use this pumpkin right here. So I'll do a quick. Hi, Kathleen. Those, that tartan really is pretty. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I just want to make sure... Put one this way. I hope that'll work. We're gonna we we might have to adjust, but but what's cool is look at you can you can even stack like these pumpkins one two three mm -hmm. right. Yep, they're meant for beautiful. What else is on this guy? 
Oh, yeah, little ones. That's what I want. I want some little guys. My goodness, it's like, I think, is it a week from Sunday we're headed to Ohio? Is that right? It's got to be, right? Oh or is it? I think there's still a couple spots left. Or is it two weeks? Left. Yeah, I don't um, think so. I think it's just a week. Oh my gosh. Because today is the 22nd. Oh. Wow. Well, that sent a chill up my spine. I'm excited to go. It's just like, wow. It's so soon. So, and I guess it's, I guess it is next Sunday. Dang. Okay, so there's one, um, kind of trying to keep a little more neutral. Hmm. All right, I gotta think through this for a second, you guys. Okay. I know I definitely want these. I like these. I think I might do one sideways. And if you sign up for the class today, you can still fit in the class. So I'm gonna put a link again here in the Oh comments. my gosh, yes. Yes, yes. It's gonna be so fun. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about. There's still time for you, Leah. Do you know what? When you're leaving on the 4th <coughs> to go to my sister's so that we can go to Maine, and then I get back and then I have to be gone because I'm babysitting for the six of them. Or do I want to go that way? So you can't go on another trip with us. Mm -hmm. I got I to gotta test something, go you guys. Before. Yeah. Fine. I didn't want to show you this until the very end. But you need to see it. I think I do kind of like it sitting down in here. That's cute. Yeah, we're going to we do that. We are driving. Right, Mom? Uh-huh. Yes. So again, I'm creating my chalk outline so that I can quickly fill that in with some paint. Then we're headed to the Adirondacks, and I just had a wet spot there that I just put my that's okay we'll cover it up we'll cover it we'll cover it with something else a leaf yeah. something oh, yeah. Yeah. things on here yeah. mm -hmm. stuff yeah Of course, you know me. I'm not doing one project. I'm doing four projects here. Yep. Yeah. Right. When have you ever just done one thing? Seriously, I know. That would I know. Be crazy. I mean, why would anybody bother to watch a live if you right. can't get four projects? Yes, four exactly. projects out of it. Yeah. <laughs> We've really uh, upped the ante. Those silly people that are online and just do one project. Yeah. What are they thinking? Hmm. Oh, is the fall? Are we still doing time change? We were over. We? I thought we were done with that. I don't know. I'm always so confused about that. And I'm a baby. Like, it really does affect me. All right. So, Leah, I'm going to... Yes, dear. We're going to take um, the... Oh, here it is. My urn. Isn't that pretty, Linda? That's a recycled paper. And I'm going to see if we want... A Again, it's going to be how... After I had Leah do all of this, I might just... Oh, shoot. Look what I did. Doggone it. What'd you do? I got paint on that. It's a bit of waste of stuff. I think we're going to really. go like you this. Just... We're going to do just a little stack of two. All right. Um, so let me quickly... Oh, so we will fall back, says Kathy. 
We do. Congress won't allow us. Congress won't allow us. It just is so confusing to me. Always, it always ends up being like such a thing, right? I don't like those. Only Hawaii and it's Arizona. Megan. <laughs> Hawaii and Arizona are changing. No, they're the only two that are not. Yeah. November 5th. Yes. Oh, it seems late this year, doesn't it? It does. That's what I was just Googling to see when. Oh, Vicky's going to Alaska. That sounds wonderful. Oh, Vicky, what an it awesome is lovely. trip. I loved it. it was really, that was our first trip, sister trip. What would you say the undertones are of Cathedral Tote, Mom? Uh, very warm, reddish, pinkish undertones. Karen writes a letter to her congressman about it every single year. They're not listening, Karen. How rude. And good for you. Oh, I got, I didn't get, well, yes, yeah, she, oh, you saw her put her hand up at me. I, I forgot that they could see that part. I got a glare for the ages. Mm -hmm. That's right. Leah or Megan in the back in our my metal shelves mm -hmm. toward the very back there's um or there's a pile there's stencils in in some of those slots okay. looking for another recycled urn which I should have okay. November 5th it's when the time change happens all right yeah. all the drying time you guys we got 10 minutes to finish this project it's pretty quiet the drying mm -hmm. is that yeah Liz said daylight savings time seems very late. My cats are already advancing dinner time, so I thought it was sooner. Oh, <laughs> their circadian rhythms, right? Yes. All right. So let's do these quick guys right here. These are dry. So cuties. Hmm? I said cuties. Okay. And now this one is going to go here. Any of this that's outside of this, fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be um, adding some other layers over that. Listen to Leah back there. Did you find it, Leah? I, think I, I thought we had a raccoon. Oh, good. <laughs> she does sound like a raccoon. <laughs> Zippers and happy <laughs> sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it's like back there. Did I find the same Yay, thing? Yay, yes, because my it. other one is... Oh, yeah, Deborah, it definitely messes with kids. Okay, now I'm going to go put everything back. I have to pull that open. Susan said, I'm so happy you're using these papers. I have both of them and have stared at them way too much, not knowing what to do with I them. I know. Thank you. I know. Okay, so guys, this is my other little trick with these is I'll use my thumb now and I'll very gently come in and I'll kind of take away any little leftover there. little leftover tissue you just got to be really careful you don't tear at the uh, the stuff underneath Wendy said I'm so glad it's already dark or a little later in the morning the rooster next door doesn't wake me up so early oh now. my gosh do you have a rooster that all 
I gotta tell you, you know how Alps seats would be really cute? You know those little houses that I showed you guys um, that we did in Louisiana, the little wooden houses? Like you could totally take these apart, put a really cool uh, tartan background on them, and put these pumpkins um, on there, like layer them with even some toadstool molds. Oh, yeah, that you would could be cute. really do a lot of neat things. How cute would the toadstool mold be? Yeah, right? All right, so we have that. Leah, right. I'm probably going to send you to the bathroom. To the bathroom. Banish you. There's one. Let me do the other one real okay. quick. Linda lived in Puerto Rico for three years, and they didn't change their clocks. And she also just got back from Alaska, taking care of her grandkids. She went to Lafayette, Louisiana. The paint was stuck. I could still work that paint just a little bit. How can you tell if you're not just going right through your tissue paper down to the masonite? Just feel it? Yeah, I think I went right down to the masonite. <laughs> You had to ask, didn't you? Well, I'm just like thinking that's what I would immediately do if yeah. it was me. Like I did. I did. It's okay. We look at all these. <laughs> it's almost as good as. Oh, that makes me miss Miss Shirley's ringer. Bring Tom. Look at all these beautiful leaves and things. And you're going to be using Whispering Willow, so you'll yes, have a lot I of ways am. to cover that up. Miss Shirley has a rooster. I wonder how he's doing. What do you mean, Deborah? Won't what show? The pumpkin underneath? Yes. That's why I'm going to. Um, I'm going to add some more white. He's still bad, says Shirley, her rooster. Grandma says, break out the Posco pens. What's a Posco oh, pen? Oh, the Posco pens. Oh, they're so fun. What is it? They're um, a type of a paint pen. Okay, and I think I'm um, just going to quickly kind of figure this out. So I'm just going to paint just a little bit right here. And it, again, it's just to minimize that dark underlayer. Are you showing the rust on the urn today? I will. Mm -hmm. Yep. Looks like we're going to go longer than uh. That's okay. We haven't been here in a while. The rockard really works nicely with the, th the very tissue paper. Thin it tissue sure paper, does. Yeah. Yep, it sure does. I didn't miss this pumpkin because I already had. Maybe. I had already dripped water on it. <laughs> so those really look cool once you. 
I like that ticking strike. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I like that ticking strike. I could have moved that down a little lower. Should I? Yeah, I think it looks cool. And you're going to be adding like yeah, some leaves and things like yes. that. I think it looks good. Oh, you're right. Okay. Let me give it a quick. And we need our last one. I mean, why do three when you can do four? Exactly. <laughs> Show 20 techniques. <laughs> the woman loves multimedia. She can't help herself. I really can't. Mixed media. Sorry. Mixed and multi. Yes. Multi and multi mix. All right. Can we take that in and dry? Sure. Remember this big boy? This was the one that inspired it all. And then I was like, oh, why not? I'm going to go right ahead and do a gallery wall. Why not? Why not? It just made me think about media play, which made me think about a, a conversation I just had with Sally. I was talking about how that would be a night out for us to go to Don Pablo's and media play. Oh, it was like yeah. a big family night out. Yep. And before that, it was Chi Chi's. And, but we were talking about how much money would we pay if we could have like a week and do a tour of the foods that we love but can no longer get. So like on that list would be the Chi Chi's seafood nachos. Oh, yeah. Um, the Caesar salad at Don Pablo's. <laughs> We had like a few different things and like how great it would be able to go back in time or just do like a tour of those things and just taste them again. I know, it would be. Sally said she'd pay $500. She would? Yep. Wow. How, what would you pay to be able to have seafood nachos again? Oh man, there's got to be a dupe out there. There's mom, we have looked and we have looked. Oh, Fuddruckers. Was on oh, that list. Oh, remember too? Fud Rockers. That was on our list. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those, I know. Those awesome chains. Yes. That was a pretty, that's specific to our area, that chain, right? Fud Rockers? Or was I that think everywhere? I so. Leah, do you remember Fud Rockers? Yes. Oh, yeah. I love the way that looks on that paper, Mom. I mean, so cool. I'm bringing all my colors together. I need more walls. The second kitten came from a rescue in Buffalo. Call, you want to name the rescue, Mom, or no? Uh, a Western or West Side Cat Rescue. And yes, her name is Fred. Frederica? Or just for Can we just Fred? call her Fred? I think you should name her Fuddruckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vicki says, we have Fuddruckers in South Carolina. They're still open on our way. Do you know what? There is There is a, I think there's a Chi Chi's or Don Pablo's in Europe somewhere. Really? Yes. We'd probably go all the way to Europe and then they wouldn't have... The seafood what nachos. we wanted. I know, right? They would probably have some that's the only thing kind I of really a European need. thing that would not taste yeah, as good to us. It was DC. A cat named DC? Mm -hmm. What did it stand for? Oh. Because it wrapped itself around my dad's legs every day when he left. Oh, really? And he was always going, oh. <laughs> but we were not allowed to say that. No. So we DC. didn't call him DC. Wow, people have. There's a Fuddruckers in Massachusetts, says Melissa. There's one in Virginia. You're kidding. There's still a Don Pablo's in Minneapolis. So maybe we can have these things. But what about a Chi Chi's? And the chocolate volcano at Don Pablo's with that vanilla ice cream that had a little bit of cinnamon Oh, in and it. there was no better fried ice cream than Don Pablo's. No, that's Chi Chi's. Chi Chi's? No. Don well, Pablo's had the chocolate volcano. We never okay, had the fried yes. ice cream there. You guys want me to keep going? You know they do. <laughs> or do we finish it on Monday? They're like, no! Oh, heck no! Well, it turns out Fud Records was nationwide. Yeah, I thought it was more of a local dish. Yeah, but what do we know? Kind of thing. I'm remembering my 10-step rule. I'm not going to be stressing about this. No. 
and you're not even done. You're right, I'm not. You still gotta put crackle over it and everything. No, we're not doing crackle. <laughs> yeah. Gold or something, right? All right, let's get some yeah, rust. Yep. Okay. This is, I haven't watched you do this yet, so I'm so very neat. much looking forward okay. to it. Okay. So here we go. We're going to get our, and I'm telling you guys, you if you want, like, there's no, if you, if you have trouble um, deciding what rust color paint or what colors make rust paint, here it is for you right here. We have rust. Can't even, you don't even think about it. This set comes with a 3D powder. We are not going to use that. If you are putting it on a flat surface that doesn't already have texture or if you want to add more texture, you can mix this with it. Apply a little heat and it will um, it'll like kind of bump up a little bit. We're just going to use the paints today. So I'm lining this up again. And I'm using this more as a guide so that, um, is it backwards? Well, daggone it, you're right, it sure is. <laughs> is that backwards? Yeah, it sure is. Now it makes lining up a little easier. It does, that's the way it works. So I'm gonna get a few colors out. Here's your, your basic pumpkin orange rust color. There's a little bit of brown or red. I don't know what it is, but I get all of them out so that I have, um, oh, we so need, I can access all of them. We need to say happy birthday to Chad. He's the one who repeated your whole opening. <gasps> happy birthday, Chad. Is his birthday actually today? Yes, is, is today the big day? What are you going to do? Happy, happy birthday. I'm not going to use this because I my don't thing is clogged. Because <laughs> I don't have a pen. <clears throat> because mommy doesn't take good care of her stuff. All right, let me grab a brush here. This is different than the actual, we have a rust effect set, which actually you make rust, basically. This brush. With yeah, metal pigment. Water, yes. Yes. It has metal in it. Also very cool. This is just uh, paint. And I've never, you, have you ever used it with the 3D powder? I haven't, no. Does it just kind of make it like a puff paint? It makes it a little, kind of like moss, you know? Oh, interesting. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm literally just gonna start popping a little bit of this rust in here. His birthday's tomorrow. He's gonna oh, be 51. Oh my gosh! Happy birthday, Chad! Do you have big plans? So I'm just gonna go through, oh, and I'm fusion. gonna. Okay, so that's the name. Um, and then there was one. My baby brother had a birthday Tuesday. Wow, it said. Can I help you? Okay, so I'm looking to take, um, I have a bunch of picture frames mm -hmm. with oil paintings that once upon a time, they were well done. They frame matches the painting, but now to do a gallery wall, there's too much going on. So I want to uh, put like a finish on all of the frames that are color um, the espresso brown. So what I'm doing is I'm using some sort of paint wax that would do that. Like it was like um so like a stencil that would finish wax. I'm starting with the darker or did you want to add the word wax in it because you kind of look the darker first. And then I'll work my way. Just to try to reframe these things. It's like, you know, that's not in my budget. And then they're not being shown. Yeah. And I'm allowing it also to mix a little bit in some places with that darker brown. So collecting. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, aren't you lucky? It's yeah. Because like, <laughs> every year that I've worked, it was a piece of art to show my. Yes. That's yes. Lovely. You know, rather than paying bills, like, you know, 
we all do. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry. Let me hear this. Where I find it because then I don't know what I have. Uh, what I was using. They don't sell espresso brown. So in my search for what I was using. They, they suggested um, this that was even better, and it came in espresso brown. So I said, oh, all right. Mm -hmm. well, you carry the full line after I know. At this when I went to the company's website, um, they recommended uh, I mean, these stampers. They actually recommended a place in Williamsville. And here, I've been coming here for. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Libby. Okay, we're almost done. Espresso brown. Bye. Let me just get my phone so I can look up for our product list. Thank you. Mom, what fusion product comes in espresso brown? There's an espresso wax. There is. Yeah. Do we have that? Yeah. Um, we might have some downstairs. I don't really use it that much because it, I I have found that it's not as I don't know. Um, the fusion waxes tend to be, to me, a little more translucent. Equally achieve what I want to. Like I don't mind. Like say the one painting, it's it's beautiful. It's an oil painting with all kinds of turquoise thing going on, and the framer framed it with like a green and gold turquoise frame. And then another one I had was an oil painting, and that artist put a gold frame. Right between these. Paintings and then the frames. You don't even know. Okay, so, so we are getting to... some good rust going here. I can't get a signal in here. Let me see. I'm just going to look and see if we have the And let's lift it up. So, what you can also do is even thin it with a little bit of water. So, if you want to add like a wash. You can do that and kind of blot it away, and it, it just is going to give you all the much more um, texture on this. Yes, yes. So she's like, no, don't be sorry. No, 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 no. We are open for business. Let me go downstairs and grab it. Okay. And then I'm going to lift this and take a peek. Hi, Janice. I thought I recognized your voice. Oh yeah, look at that, you guys. That's a, oh, that's that awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Now nice. the other thing that I'm gonna do so that I don't have, um, and you can do whatever you want, but I mean I I don't mind this in here, but you could also kind of fill that in a little bit. wanted to just to minimize the look of that stripe in the background make it a little more solid or yeah exactly So we got a completely rusty urn going on here. Another um, great way to get some good texture on your urn is to use like the cracking paste and a cracking paste primer, um, and that gives a that gives a really cool effect too. If you want to keep your urn like kind of more white. Did we use that last year, last fall when we did the cut the pumpkin in half? Yes, we did. So I used it in up. some of the other spaces where we didn't use molds. Mm -hmm. I just got mine out and did my mantle the other day. So just... Okay, look at that. I had a little white paint white on paint that, on but there. I kind of like that. I mean, I think that, again, it just adds. Yes. Yeah, but when it comes to like a frame, I guess. Adds all that more 
texture to it. Okay. So there you go. That is how we get that crusty, rusty looking urn. I mean, you could add a little metallic. There's so much. You could you could create almost like a, a copper patina finish with this, which I have not, I promised somebody a long time ago that I would do that. Can we brush in there? Yep. Thank you. And so there we go. Now let's add a few little details to our um, our artwork. Now that we're all done painting, put that inside and let's do this. This is my Whispering Willow. I don't know how much I have left in here, but we're just going to use some pieces that we have. And I love that um, it's all Lexi's artwork, so it's all going to kind of work together, right? So I will cut out any of my foliage that I want to, that I'm thinking about using. And I'm conscious of um, what colors kind of go together so that I can make the best arrangement. Who knows, I might add a little mushroom. I don't know. We'll see. Weren't these just the cutest? This is the cutest darn um, little, uh, whatchamacallit, transfer. Transfer pad. Oh, I didn't know you were thinking about, I'm sorry. I'm Leah, you're supposed to be catching, over my, there catching my words. I was here. cleaning my palette knife. We might use those mushrooms. We might not. I really don't want to add another, bust open another uh, transfer. So we're gonna use some of these bits. And again, they all have like similar tones. So we're just gonna make them work. I must have, oh, I bet I snagged all the other ones when I did that really, that awesome, awesome. Um, mushroom wreath, oh, that is such a, that was such a fun project to do. See if I have any other little bits here that I can snag. So you guys, yeah, like take what you have and cut it apart and figure out new ways to use it instead of exactly as it is on here. And we might come back to these too. Ooh. Kind of cool. So this is from Cosette. These are some extra pieces. Oh, put this in water. Okay. I'm kind of thinking like that could be really beautiful on there. Let me let me try this. Then it would kind of lend itself to that that uh, same, you know, like that floral background that's on the recycled. There we go, when we don't have a, an applicator, we just use our fingers. <laughs> but I got an applicator over here. You probably have hundreds of I do, <laughs> yes I do. <clears throat> Kind of like a decoupage uh, or mixed media 101 here a little bit. Yeah. Now you do want to be mindful that if you are layering over decoupage, you want to be sure that your background is completely dry. 
Otherwise, you're going to end up lifting that take a punch paper with the adhesive that's on the back of your transfer. And that's never a good thing. Right? I know, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Again, these these were leftover parts that I had from um from another project that I did. Yeah. Who would have thunk? Jeez, now I might change my mind about these and just do black. I love that. The black is really stunning, you guys. Sorry, Megan's not here to monitor comments, but she'll get back here in a second and answer questions. I can read questions. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you, Leah. Oh, which transfer is it from? Cassette, right? This is cassette. Yes. So I am, I literally, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I just feel like they need to be used somehow in every single one of these. You got to love the group that answers the question when Megan isn't here to answer the question. You know what? Question. I do love that. I love it because they truly do like... They take care of us. I was going to say, we take care of one another. Absolutely. Thank you, you guys. And any of you, if you want to share a link, you can. As long as it's to our website. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Leah, come on. Come on. Like, how cute. Love it. These little berries, these little swags and berries. Oh, whatever they are. Oh my goodness, we're gonna take advantage of these. Right? Oh my goodness. You guys, I just wanna keep going. I just wanna keep going, you guys. I could just like literally go on and on and on. Oh my gosh. What else we got here in this? piece of broken up piece of co-set more berries <laughs> well gotta have a cluster of three right yeah heaven forbid why would you just want an even number <clears throat> who would have thunk it This is truly mixed media, and I love it. Oh my gosh. Look at your eyes. Ready? How pretty is that? That is so pretty. Look at that. All right, I might have to have something come up from that top there. Again, I'm just looking. These are all leftover pieces that I had from projects that I did. So look at all of the little parts and pieces of these, um, of your transfers. They don't all have to be, you don't have to use them whole. You can break them apart. Yeah, I'm probably gonna. Grab another bit right here. Cause I like that little loopy ribbony thing. Or do I? I don't know. You might save that one. I think I just need another little. What berries? Mm -hmm. okay, there's some on here if you don't have enough. <clears throat> you guys still hanging with me here? 
Everybody's in. Raise your hand if, if you're still here with me. Look how pretty that is. That is cool. All right, so let's, on that, in that same, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing here. And it's also, if I add this black and white to each one of them, it's gonna, it's another way to unify the whole collection. Mm-hmm. Let me grab a little bit of these, a uh, little bit of these words here. Because words, gotta have words. Gotta have some typography. These guys are always the trickiest ones when you're having a, a freshly decoupaged surface. It can be a little tricky. I was, I was, um, I'm kind of doing, working on a little collaboration and was, um, texting back and forth and it's like oh do you want French do you want English do you what do you want and and it's like I don't care we most of us don't I don't care what the word says actually um, I really don't I just like the typ the typography I just think it adds when you got all this kind of softness going on it just adds that linear wonderful thing and yes I think I'm gonna go right over that yes I just went right over the letters until one takes one of your workshops, it's almost sacrilegious to those of us who have trouble <laughs> letting go. <laughs> I know, I know, it really is. And I understand that. It is hard, man, when you, when, I think when when you are like a very like, it's like process, step-by-step -step kind of thing, when you're that side of the brain, it yep. is hard to um, think of cutting <laughs> apart something that's already created. Right? Yeah. Or it's hard Painting to think over it and Yeah, it's it hard to yeah. think of like a, a backdrop, a Tim Holtz backdrop. Like I don't wanna how I'm not gonna cover this up. And you know, in some of my workshops I've just said, like, don't let your things become too precious when they're in the background. They're meant to be in the background. And every bit of element that you add to your journal or to those layers is still a part of the whole story of what you've created. It's still there. Yeah, I struggled with that the first camp. I, I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. I still struggle with it, but yeah. I must admit I choose ones for backgrounds that to start with that I don't like they, as well. Yes, but you know what? <laughs> but that's okay because Leah, it's still in the background, right? Yeah. Look at that, you guys. How pretty is that? Right? That's good. That's good. Um, all right, that's number two. Let's do this one real quick. Because I am just feeling it like. I just want that random. Well, Betty said that last piece of transfer you put on would have made a gorgeous stem for a big pumpkin. Oh, it would have. You're right. For sure, Betty. Trying to save this this guy right here. And of course, instead of just cutting it, right? Yeah, you're gonna try and rub around it. <laughs> I know.
don't we? We love a transfer. We love a good transfer. And we love using a transfer in different ways, don't we? Come on, you guys, are you with me? Like in very different ways. Like let's, let's do, I found I used my bits and pieces of transfers if I cut them apart and put them in an envelope. Yes. And then I search for pieces, not. That's a picture. really good point, Leah. Otherwise I tend not to see them in a different light. Exactly, yep. And this why I encourage you too, like if you have one of those transfer pads that is, um, that has a lot of different elements, like uh, like Whispering Willow, like, uh, for example, um, Brocante. I cut those all apart so that then I can see what I have and it helps me to figure out where I'm gonna use it. I mean that, just that. I don't know why, but I just love these tassels hanging. Do we like the tassels? I like them. They're just unexpected. They are really? unexpected. I agree, Vicki. Should you make those black pieces look like they were made to go where you put them? Yeah. I mean, come on, <laughs> this is good, right? Like, this is surprising me. I did not know that I was gonna be doing all of this. But that's what happens. As your piece develops, I think it just becomes so much more interesting when you allow yourself the freedom to create as you go. I just, what I want to do is I just want to avoid any cut edges on the interior of my piece. So like I need to think, oh, that might be too much. But I could totally do that. But maybe come from here. So it's as if it's coming from behind, but also creating a little layer over the top here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I just love it. Leah, could you cut any extra little, um, like these areas? Yep, yep. Man, this is Cosette at its finest. I'm telling you right now, this is cool. Now, I think the other the other thing I'm gonna do is I will be adding some dark wax around here, or I was even thinking that it could be kind of cool to um, shade a little bit, shade with some black around here. Like these paper brushes that are really cost effective and 
do a great job. I've done better, like, yeah, it's not nice. I really like those. I wonder if I should use one of them. And for those of you that watch rewatch these videos like on a Friday night or a weekend, you like you've got yourself like a full featured like movie here. <laughs> Does all this go together? I guess it does. on a long time. I did not think this I was going to be this long with these, but I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. Did we find other little... There were just a... I put a couple of them right just here. Just a couple? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't know how many of these flowers you really wanted to break apart, and yeah. I didn't get that's into okay. this one because it was a full sheet yet, so... No problem. <clears throat> This whole thing is probably going to be all taken apart. This, whatever I've got left of the transfer is going to be taken apart. So, so I think we are good. But I can use like I can use any of these bits of transfer to cover over the white paint where I went outside of my line. Here was a little oopsie. Yep. You can always fix an oopsie with something. Always, always, always. Don't be afraid. And I do want to add this. I just love the black and white transfers. I do too, Leah. Well, one of my favorites was was it Winter Song, the one that was a wreath that I put on the mirror in my living room. Yes, that was so oh, pretty. What a pretty project. It was, it was fun. <clears throat> and I like it as much now as the day I did it. So. All right, and there's another one down. Almost there. And of course, I'm going to come back and look at this. Um, I'll look at it tomorrow and decide if it needs something else. And let me get this guy's frame. This is just a crusty old, old frame. But again, look at that pretty, pretty pattern in the back got that fabric oh my gosh look at that you guys isn't that beautiful that's beautiful that's really really pretty and I do love a grungy crusty old frame isn't that nice what a contrast really with that watercolor and then this harder these harder edges but seriously you could come in here after you <laughs> seal all of this and you could kind of add some washes of color even to this but I'm digging that unexpected contrast of that 
very graphic black and white against the watercolor washi look. I love the pop of green too. That, it's that like little it's, it's pop so of soft green, yeah. And so, I mean, you can see, like, again, look at our colors that kind of go back to each other here. See that? And although we don't have blue in either of these, we do have these same elements that are going to be unifying it. And then, um, but I do have some blue in that other stack. So wherever that is. I oh I'm there sorry. it is <laughs> and look set it aside because we're running out of space. you guys look I cut apart all of these didn't even use them didn't even use them it's just for a future date that's all and I probably would add just very little of the black to like I might do that there as if it's coming right down. I'm not going to do a lot of the black on here, maybe just a little right here, because we've got all of this going on. So, but I do want to repeat a little of that black. Oh, what have I missed? Awesome. Everything great. You've fun? missed oh. so much, but thank you for taking care of Janice. Of <laughs> oh, these are looking so good. They're really cool. And I missed, of course I missed the rust part, which is what I really wanted to see. You've been gone that long? Yes. We've been live for that long? I left just as you were beginning to rust. Oh, wait till you see all of these together. One job perk should be that I can see these things in person. Right. But not today. Thank you, Leah, for doing my job. Sure. I just let people um, answer the questions. I just read questions to your mother. And Wonderful. Comments. But I don't want to screw, with my luck, I would screw something up. And... So again, I want to be really careful about how I add this to So I'm kind of playing here. Just so that we've got a little bit of this tied together. That looks really great. With that. Thank you. It's it's really unexpected, and I think and yet it makes perfect sense. And yet it makes perfect sense. Yeah. I love when you cut apart a transfer and it's like, oh, who even knew that transfer could look like that? Exactly. So remember down here where I made that big boo-boo, I gotta, I think I'm just gonna do like this. Hi there. Hi, how are you today? I'm great, how are you doing? Good, the dog up there, the boss said I could come here. Oh great, you welcome you. Good job, Chance. I think just enough to ground that. just kind of nestles those pumpkins. Right? It really does. Mm -hmm. It's like a little hug. Uh -huh. A little hug for a pumpkin. And I think I need to make some new ones and <laughs> take the ones that I just finished putting up in the hall and do a new gallery wall. Well, you got to change it up, right? Mm. You go downstairs and you're like, oh, I need this. I'll get this out. I'll get this out. I'll get this out. It's like, hmm. 
just a little touch here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe everybody's still with me. Oh, this is turning into a very long live. Well, you get you get a two for today because we weren't here on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't here on one Monday. Uh -huh. I got home from work on time, grabbed my iPad, started to do oh, stuff, gracious. clicked, and I went, oh, they're not on. Oh, Ugh, that's right. I'm today. away. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have any questions about what we did today? Yeah, I think that's probably about enough. All right, so we have this beautiful frame right here. I mean, look at that. My, oh, that's great. This is great. I love this. I really, really love this. Look at how that kind of looks like it's, it's a ribbon tied. Leah. You know, it was pretty before the frame, but the frame just makes it. Oh, like, the frame it always it makes it. The frame up. always makes it. So let me quickly lay these down. Let me have you put yep. that in water. We'll move that. Before I have a disaster, which you know if anybody's going to have one, I am. Let's not dump those. I'll move these guys. And let's put all of these together. Use the top of my head. I mean, honestly, I could cover that up with. I could, but I'm not going to. All right. So let's lay these out. I also got some mica stains out. not going to be able to show all of these but um what i do want you to see is kind of how they all end up working together right and there's that blue that we're tying in oh i thought i had blue in this one well there's a little bit of blueberries oh like the blueberries yeah but i think it works i do i think it all works it all works together Let's take some of our mica, mica stains. Let's spritz just a little bit and blot. It just gives that little bit of additional texture. And what color mica stain? Uh, this using? one is in is burning amber, so it's kind of an orange. I'll just ask before someone has a comment. <laughs> and what is that? But these have that mica, a <clears throat> little bit of shimmer, and if you if you like squeeze lightly with it, it will. You'll get like bigger drips. But then we can add. Like this is fallen acorn. Oh yeah, I mean that's truly what an easy way to do spatters right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Micah stands are Tim Holtz, correct? Micahs are Tim Holtz. Yes, they Beautiful. are. Beautiful. Yeah, they come in sets. Like sets of three, these are the fall collection. So there they are, you guys. This is uh, what we threw together today. Isn't that great? Was that worth the almost two hours of our live? 
I think so. So what I would do with these, because I put the mica stains on, uh, mica stains are water soluble, all right? So once these dry, what I would do is I would spray these with um, a sealer. I don't wanna spread with a brush, okay? So um, that's my Woo! that's my hint that's for stunning. you. I would take a spray fixative and I would spray these so that you don't disrupt the mica stains. I mean. I know, right? Was it worth the two hours? Seriously. Bravo. Like, I would almost wow. love to see a little word in white. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put actually a little black word in there. Um, or white would go. Or with white, words. yeah, true. Just, soon. Something yeah. Just, just for just me to walk soon. in here, and you know how I like to boss me around. Yes, tell you one little thing mm -hmm. that could be better. I love, and I love the use of the mica spray. What a cool way to yeah. use it. Yeah, it's really. It just is creates that extra bit of texture that is so. Um, and just another like. You buy I them, mean, right? You want to use them for your Halloween projects, and then what? Uh, but yeah, so seriously, we're always splattering. So what a great way to use it's them! It's such and a they good have, splatter, and it gives it little shimmer that you know I like. See that the little, tiniest that shimmer, little bit of shimmer. Mm -hmm. Love it. Thank you, Megan. Well done. Thank you. That was uh, I said they, they they got a full length feature film today. Well, like I said, you were gone, so it's the mm -hmm. least you could do. Beautiful. Look at that rust. How cool. It's done. Yeah. It's so good. I mean, right? truly cool. Amazing. Woo! 110 minutes. <laughs> wow. And Look you at were that. like, I, you go, I'm just going to do something easy today. Yeah. And yeah. it's easy. You just did a lot of it. I just did a lot of it because you know me. I can't just do one no. because I want you to see the possibilities and how like, okay, maybe I don't want to do a great big piece, but boy, you can sure do something small like this. And like, how precious is that? Seriously. I mean, I hope Royce gets to see this. What a great use of her papers. I think it's, and cassette in a totally oh, yes. unexpected yeah. way. But just look at this pair of these side by side. Adorable. Like they're just so good. Love it, love it too. Thank you you guys for hanging out. We'll see you on Monday. And uh, and maybe we'll do a, a store walkthrough. Everyone's asking for a store walkthrough. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So maybe Monday we'll do that. Cause Mon is Monday our shadow box class? Yes. <clears throat> it is. And we didn't, I was going to have you show oh, one. Do you want to show one? Yeah, Where let me it? show you really quick. JR actually, I think he brought some of the panel pieces over. Did he? Did you want me to go look? Yeah. See? Okay. Yeah. Might as well keep you here another 30 minutes. Yep. Uh, no, I won't keep you another 30 minutes, but oh my gosh, I love these. I love these so much. Now I have another something to put in my cottage, but I can't keep it all. You guys, I can't keep it all. But man, give me every old frame that, oh my goodness. I mean, look at that. Look how cute, so cute. I gotta put some words on that one though. All right, so our Shadow Box series is coming up. It starts Monday and I'm gonna show you uh, I'm just going to give you a little peek here. This is one, this is kind of a project that we shared live. So um, the cool thing is with these is we have created these so that these panels in the back are completely removable. So we're going to be doing four seasons of these. And let me see if I can. Can you do your candles so you can pop See that? that? But I just want to show you how there's there's a little hole in the back and then all of our work after we do the initial box is going to be on these panels that fit in here. And then I also have I have so many ways to share with you what you can do with these. They can sit like this. They can go the other way. They they can sit the other way. We have so many good ideas. And our first one is going to be a Halloween theme. And um, then while I'm working on it, I'm like, 
thinking ahead to Christmas, I kind of already knew what I wanted to do for Christmas, but so what we've added is, and those of you that are already in our class and didn't catch my live in the group, we have created an additional panel that can be applied with a Velcro dots so that we can, you can put your molds on it, you can decoupage on it, you can then switch this out if you wanted to do something even more seasonal and specialized. So I'm excited about that. Yes, you can purchase the shadow box after the lessons. Yep, you don't even need to have a single supply to watch. We yep. actually typically recommend that you don't worry about working on it. You just watch through for yep. the class and then work on it later. Um, it's going to be really, really fun. I'm and you can so also, it's also useful even if you're not buying the shadow box, like if you have something of your own. It's, we're just and you have just want to do a panel ideas. piece. Yes. Right, right. So it, it goes like this. We meet, we're going to meet four times. Do you have one of those? One of the panels for the front? Panels from all the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. That oh, good. Show. Yeah, I want to show those. Um, thank you, honey. And it's going to be, I have it as the pinned comment on Facebook, a link to the workshop. I will add it in the comments here on YouTube and in the description. Mm -hmm. But but four different, like different techniques. Our first class that we're going to cover is going to be Halloween. And the second class will be um, October our Christmas 23rd. one. Yep, yeah. October 23rd is Christmas. our Christmas. And then, um, and I'm telling you, we got lights, we've got add-ons, we've got oh, so, so much fun. good stuff. And the fourth class the will third be... third class is January third, 22nd. Third is January 22nd because November we're going to do our uh, Halloween journal or our Christmas journal. Yes. But see, we have these four supplemental pieces. These are a PVC, um, thicker PVC that we would apply our molds to these or decoupage or whatever and uh, apply them with an adhesive um so those can be changed out velcro well. strips and then you can pop those out and change them debbie no you pay for the class and you get all four sessions with the cost of that class. and i think the class is what 29.95 28.95 yeah. you get four yeah. classes awesome and an access to the group you have like if you can't be there live that's totally fine it's really fun to be there live but if you can't be it's totally fine you have access to that group and all the content in the group indefinitely forever mm -hmm. Um, so they're really, really fun. It's a, it's a really fun community within those groups where you can all share with each other, share pictures of what you're doing, mm -hmm. get to know each it's other great. in a way that's different than you can right here during these, I was about to say short lives, but <laughs> typically shorter lives. Mom can go I into much more depth <laughs> with their instruction during these classes. They're just really, really special, fun classes that we do. Yeah. Um, that I don't share with the regular, like, I don't share them. It would be impossible to share that much, yeah. Yeah, so, um, but I'm excited about, I am very excited. We've worked on this concept for a couple of years, and I was just really, really happy that we could make it happen. And now that we've added this other additional element, oh my gosh. Oh, it's I'm Game like changer. already, I cannot wait to do my Christmas panel. And I'm going to give you a hint. We are going to be using the Oh Christmas Tree Mold. And I do want to say about these little supplemental panels. If you're, order, if you're somebody who's like already ordered your shadow box and you're doing the class and you're like, oh, now I need these panels and you're... And you're like, I'm just going to buy these panels and pay $8.95 for shipping. That's just our base flat rate shipping. If you're buying just those panels, I will certainly refund excess shipping yeah. once I send your order out. Yes, um, always. Based on, because um, I should be able to fit those in a nice little flat envelope mm -hmm. and get them to you pretty inexpensively. So mm -hmm. yep. don't let that deter you, please. No. It would just, we would have to change our entire shipping system to change <laughs> that. So I will just Works refund you in us. that <laughs> specific circumstance. So there you go. Um, that's what's coming up. Thank you, you guys, for hanging out with us. We are at full two hours today of a live. So enjoy, um, yeah, enjoy the replay on this one. <laughs> Rambo, no, you will get, when you purchase the class, you'll get an email with a PDF that gives you a supply list, unless you're like Leah and you don't get that email. Never <laughs> she get never gets You'll posts, join yeah. the group and that, that list is going to be posted right there in the group and it's links to things that we sell on our website or that you can find on Amazon or 
other places mom will list all that all yeah. of that for yep. you so but no rush just come watch the class yeah so here's the thing you guys um well what was i gonna say i don't know oh okay um uh, bye <laughs> no i was <laughs> i think i i totally lost my train of thought um oh those of you that have purchased the class and maybe watching and saying oh, i didn't get it any please reach out Info at ellenjgoods.com. You can message on our messenger on Facebook. Um, the best success. Or send a text in our text group. Best success is going to be to email me, info at ellenjgoods.com, yeah. and I will get you all set up and in the group. I understand some people struggle with getting that um, It depends on email. who your server is. And, and sometimes they, you struggle with opening a PDF. I get that. But I, if I totally get it. If I'm the one serving you, if I'm your server, I'm going to get you in that group. There you go. Okay. I've That's never had a problem nope. with that. my blonde nope. server nope. here next to me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. right. You guys have a wonderful <laughs> weekend. And thanks for hanging out with us. We will see you on Monday. See you Monday. Bye. Bye.